Just because you move to the cloud doesn't mean you have to leave your existing email behind. Office 365 provides solutions for migrating your email. Let's take a look at the bulk migration options so you can choose the one that's right for you. Are you coming from an existing Exchange Server solution? You have several choices for migrating your email. If you're running Exchange Server 2003, Exchange Server 2007, Exchange Server 2010, Exchange Server 2013, or Exchange Server 2016, and you have fewer than 150 mailboxes, choose a cutover migration. Though cutover migration supports moving up to 2,000 mailboxes, you'll get the best experience when you migrate 150 users or fewer. This type of migration automatically creates user accounts in Office 365 and then moves all your mailboxes and mailbox data to the cloud. After migration is complete, you can remove your on-premises Exchange server. Note that even though the users are created by the migration, you will still have to assign licenses to the newly created users in the Office 365 Admin Center after migration. Not in a hurry to move everyone to the cloud? Use a staged migration with Exchange 2003 or Exchange 2007 to move a subset of mailboxes to Office 365. There's no limit to the number of mailboxes you can move. We recommend that you maintain a short-term connection between Office 365 and Exchange. Just remember you have to deploy directory synchronization to use staged migration. And you'll need to keep at least one Exchange server on-premises for mailbox management. Are you running Exchange 2010, Exchange 2013, or Exchange 2016? Do you have more than 150 mailboxes to migrate? Is your goal to maintain a long-term connection between mailboxes on-premises and in the cloud? Consider a hybrid Exchange deployment. In a hybrid deployment, secure messaging functionality is seamless across the environments. Calendar free busy sharing and message tracking are enabled. You can also move mailboxes back and forth between on-premises and the cloud. Directory synchronization has to be deployed for this option and at least one Exchange server has to be kept on-premises for mailbox management. If your source environment supports IMAP, you can use IMAP migration to move your users' inboxes and other mail folders to the cloud. You'll need to add user accounts and mailboxes to Office 365 before you use this option. There are limitations. You can migrate only up to 500,000 items per mailbox and calendars and contacts will be left behind. But you can migrate mailboxes in batches. And until you say it's done, email continues to sync between the original mail server and Office 365. You can also use Office 365 import service to import PST files to Office 365, either by shipping the files or by uploading the data over the network. If you have more than 10 terabytes of data, shipping the drives will be faster than uploading it over the network. You can also migrate email from other email providers, for example IBM Lotus Notes or Novell GroupWise to Office 365. Work with your Microsoft partner to evaluate the basic requirements to make the move. Choose the migration option that meets your goals and quickly gets you to the cloud. For more, visit aka.ms slash move to 365.